Restaurants are very important to the community. They provide a place for people to gather and socialize, enjoy good food, meet new people, and experience different cultures. These establishments strive to maintain a comfortable and inviting atmosphere for customers, so they keep returning and encouraging others to try their food. Some restaurants are known for their delicious food, while others are famous for their unique concept. These unusual restaurants often feature an unexpected theme that's used to create a memorable experience. From a toilet-themed restaurant to a place that simulates a natural disaster, here are 20 most unusual restaurants in the world. Number 20. Monkeys serve food at Kayabukiya Tavern. You might have seen monkeys do different tricks in circuses and zoos, but would you believe there was once a restaurant in Japan that hired monkeys as servers? The Kayabukiya Tavern was a traditional style sake house restaurant in Utsu no Miya, and it was most known for the incredible monkeys that worked there. Can you imagine these cute monkeys coming to your table and bringing your order to you? Of course, both tourists and locals alike loved taking pictures with the monkeys. Sometimes the monkeys would also dance with the people in the restaurant. It was an experience many people would want to remember and share with their friends. Kaoru Otsuka owned Kayabukiya Tavern and the monkeys were actually his pets. He saw the potential in his monkeys when they quickly learned how to deliver things to guests. They were really good at imitating him. Japanese authorities were well aware of the animals working at the restaurant, and the restaurant was inspected to ensure that the environment was safe for the monkeys. They were also only permitted to work for two hours each day. In exchange for their service, they were given bananas instead of money. Customers were also very generous and gave them tips in the form of boiled soya beans. That sounds like a good deal to me. Sadly, the restaurant is no longer around. The people who were able to experience the service of the monkeys are pretty lucky indeed. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 19. Robot Restaurant in Bangkok I'm sure eating at a Japanese barbecue buffet sounds exciting for many people, but it gets even more interesting if the waiters at the restaurant are robots. Visiting the Hanjime Robot Restaurant in Bangkok, Thailand makes you feel as if you're in a sci-fi movie. You'll see a friendly-looking machine with huge eyes and clothed with a samurai outfit zipping along a track between the customer tables. All the guests have to do is choose food or send instructions using a touchscreen monitor. The robot would then go to the back kitchen and fetch the orders, move along the track to the correct table, and hand over the food through a window. Similarly, the robot collects the customer's empty plates on the tray. When the bionic waiter isn't busy fetching orders or clearing tables, customers might be able to witness it perform a cool dance. This whole thing sounds like a novel concept, but it just makes me wonder if restaurants run by robots will soon be the norm in the future. Number 18. Dinner in the Sky While serving delicious food is the goal of most restaurants, some establishments aim higher and desire to provide not just the tastiest delicacies, but also the most unforgettable experiences. If you've ever dined on the topmost floor of a skyscraper before, you'd know the feeling of the cool breeze blowing on your face and the peaceful ambience of seeing the view of the entire city beneath you. Dinner in the Sky offers something similar but it also adds elements of thrill and danger to the dining experience. In this restaurant, 22 lucky guests can dine on this suspended platform raised 164 feet in the air. If you're afraid of heights, you might be puzzled why anyone would go out of their way and pay for such a terrifying experience. Well, that's just one of the mysteries of being human, I guess. Many people are curious as to what dining in the sky feels like, and it's one of those experiences that are so unique guests will surely remember it. The concept is so successful that it's expanded to several other countries all over the world. Dinner in the Sky primarily caters to groups that want to organize a special and exclusive event. For instance, organizations may wish to conduct their business meetings or product launches this way. Clients may also use it as a sort of VIP box where a select group of guests can watch sporting events, like motorcycle or car races, from above. Number 17. Hot Air Balloon Restaurant in the Netherlands As its name suggests, a hot air balloon makes use of heat in order to fly. As warm air rises, it carries the lightweight balloon upward, causing the entire thing to fly. This is why pilots light a fire on the aircraft and ensure that the burner releases enough heat to keep the balloon stable in the air. As a chef, 
Angelique Schmeich was reminded of cooking when she saw the burner in the flame while on a hot air balloon flight. She then had a wild idea of using the fire to cook while in the air. Airlines always offer meals during plane flights. Why can't this be true for hot air balloon flights too? The fire is just there, waiting to be used. Soon, the Collier project was launched, and Schmeich found a way to use the burner of a hot air balloon as a giant cooking device. Using a special pulley mechanism, she lifts the dishes up until it reaches the top of the balloon, and this is where the food, such as fish, can be slow cooked to perfection. After cooking, she brings the dishes down to the kitchen and adds her finishing touches. Riding a hot air balloon is already a wonderful experience for most people, but skydining on the aircraft takes this to another level. One can have a freshly cooked meal while enjoying the breathtaking view during the flight. It's definitely an unforgettable experience. Number 16. Restaurant Under the Sea Many restaurants offer a spectacular view of the beach, but only a few ever bring their guests underwater. People who love the ocean and the beautiful creatures that swim beneath the surface have the opportunity to observe what happens under the sea while eating a delicious meal and drinking a glass of wine. All of this is possible at the Etha Undersea Restaurant in the Maldives. It's located 16 feet below sea level and can be accessed through a spiral staircase. Once there, guests often feel that they're transported to a magical place under the sea. Different species of small fish, stingrays, turtles, sharks, and the breathtaking landscape of coral reefs can be viewed through the restaurant's transparent glass roof. The tunnel-like structure gives guests a panoramic view of marine life that they rarely see on the surface. Many can attest that dining at the Etha Undersea Restaurant is a surreal experience. Just imagine different sea creatures swimming around you as you have your meal. It's like going scuba diving, but there's no need to wear gear or even get wet. Etha is a perfect place for celebrating special occasions, and the restaurant can be booked for private parties or weddings. Number 15. Scary Cafe That Experiences Frequent Earthquakes An earthquake simulator and a restaurant usually don't go hand in hand. This would cause all sorts of nasty spills and tableware to fall to the ground and break into thousands of pieces. Just imagine what could happen not only in the dining area but also in the kitchen. Naturally, most people, including restaurant owners and staff, dread and fear earthquakes because of the devastation they could cause. However, one restaurant in Lloret de Mar, Spain feels that the mess is worth it as long as customers have an experience of a lifetime. Disaster Cafe is a place where 7.8 magnitude earthquakes happen all the time. While some people enjoy a peaceful lunch or dinner, others crave novelty and action. That's why people make reservations in advance and pay for a unique and shaky dining experience in Disaster Cafe. The restaurant has a place called the Depths of the Earth, which is where all the fun happens. Guests who want the full experience need to go down the elevator and reach the dining area underground, which looks like a cave. Staff on this floor wear hard hats and other safety equipment. Plates are also heavier than usual. At first, everything might seem pretty normal until the shaking starts. In Disaster Cafe, they don't hold back. The quakes feel like the real deal. The lights flicker, the room gets shaken, drinks and food spill on the floor, and people start screaming because of how frightening it can be. If you decide to dine here, make sure you're not wearing your favorite outfit. Spilled drinks and broken plates are the norm. Number 14. Dining in Total Darkness while some of the most unusual and memorable restaurants in the world amaze us with wonderfully designed and creatively themed interiors, one restaurant in Switzerland captures the attention of curious foodies out there because of its concept of dining in total darkness. I can just imagine how difficult and scary this dining experience could be. Blindaku, which translates to blind cow, is a restaurant that promotes the idea that darkness can enhance a person's appreciation for food. This aligns with the belief that if one sense is impaired, in this case the sense of sight, the other senses like smell and taste will be heightened. Besides this, the restaurant also offers patrons a glimpse into the lives of the blind and visually impaired, giving them a taste of what it's like to be in their shoes. People with this disability are also hired in this restaurant, as they're the ones who guide and serve the customers in the pitch black dining area. The restaurant doesn't joke around when it says customers will eat in total darkness. People who have experienced dining there can attest that the room doesn't allow any light to enter. This means you can't see how many people are in the room, how far away your friends are seated from you, 
and even where the plates and utensils are, the experience evokes a feeling of helplessness and vulnerability, as even the simplest of tasks like putting food in your mouth can be challenging. Many people leave the restaurant feeling a deeper appreciation for food and the gift of sight. Number 13. Modern Toilet Restaurant in Taiwan Usually, people wouldn't want to be anywhere near toilets when eating. It smells terrible and reminds us of things we'd rather not think about when having our meal. These things would just make us lose our appetite. That's why it's so strange that someone in Taiwan decided to build a toilet-themed restaurant. The modern toilet restaurant in Taipei is all about restrooms and the things that one can find there. The chairs look just like toilets, the walls are covered with blue tiles, the glass tables have sinks with poop figures inside, and there's even a urinal installed on the wall. The toilet theme doesn't stop there. Even the food items on the menu stay true to the restaurant's concept, with bread, meatballs, and ice cream shaped like poop. When your order arrives, the food is served in, you guessed it, toilet-shaped containers. If you have a strong stomach, you might not mind seeing all these toilets and toilet references while eating, and you might even find them amusing. Number 12. Secret Spy Lair in Milwaukee I'm sure many of us have dreamed of becoming a spy at one point in our lives, usually after watching a cool spy movie. Well, along a small nondescript Milwaukee alleyway, you'll come across a sign that says International Exports Limited, and the door beside it leads to the safe house a place where spies all over the world can chill and relax. Before you can enter this special place, though, someone at the door will ask you for the password. If you don't know the password, you'll have to undergo a simple test, which usually involves performing spy-related actions or a dance. After doing this, you'll be allowed into the establishment, where you'll realize that you were being filmed the entire time and your actions were broadcasted to everyone in the restaurant. It's pretty much like a funny initiation. Inside, the place is filled with spy-themed decorations, including two-way mirrors, secret passageways, faux bathroom doors, and a peephole. Before you leave, a staff member might lead you to a dark room where you'll be given strange instructions, like those in escape rooms. Following the instructions will unlock the door and lead you outside the restaurant. Number 11. Taking a Beer Bath for beer lovers out there, the Czech Republic may be a dream destination for you because of the country's long history with alcohol. It's the birthplace of Pilsner, a type of pale lager, and it's also home to a popular attraction called the Hodovar Brewery. Located in the small town of Hodova Plana, the brewery is famous for its relaxing beer bath. You heard that right. Clients can go to the Hodovar Brewery Spa to soak their bodies in a Pilsner. You might think that this is just some funny idea made by someone who's obsessed with beer, but the establishment and some medical doctors believe that bathing in beer has restorative and therapeutic benefits. They claim that the spa treatment can improve skin complexion, relax the muscles, and ease joint pain. It's pretty unbelievable. The beer baths are found in a large room, and each tub is separated by curtains for the client's privacy. The tub is filled with a warm mixture of dark beer from the brewery and mineral water from a natural spring. Clients are also served with a glass of beer on the side. Number 10. Dining Beside a Waterfall It's not uncommon for some classy restaurants to feature a small fountain or artificial waterfalls as part of their aesthetic. However, these structures are often located outside the restaurant or are separated from the dining area using barriers. Diners wouldn't want to get splashed by water while eating, right? Well, in the waterfall restaurant at the Via Escudero Resort, staying dry is not an option. This restaurant in the Philippines is found at the base of an artificial waterfall. The tables and benches are placed in shallow water, so guests are required to walk barefoot to enter the restaurant. Food and drinks are served buffet-style, where people line up and grab the food they want to eat from a long bamboo table covered with banana leaves. Guests are also allowed to stay under the waterfall to get a relaxing water massage. This is definitely not the usual dining experience. Still, I guess if you love swimming and eating, visiting the waterfall restaurant is something you'd want to add to your bucket list. Number 9. Restaurant in a Cave A restaurant in an actual cave. Now that's something you don't see every day. Ali Barber's Cave Restaurant is a harmonious blend of the old and the new. This coral cave in Kenya is at least 120,000 years old, 
and even today most of its natural elements have been kept intact, except for the kitchen and the bathrooms, which were modified as necessary. It's easy to see why George and Jackie Barber chose this cave for their restaurant back in the 1980s. It's just the right size for a small restaurant, and its most distinct feature is its wide mouth overhead. This allows a lot of natural light to enter the cave in the morning, and at night, the hole is perfect for stargazing. Diners just have to look up and view the beautiful twinkling of the stars. The warm and muted candlelight further enhances the mood. It's the perfect place for a dreamy and romantic dinner. Number 8. Sci-Fi Dine-In Theater Restaurant While the sci-fi genre often talks about futuristic scenarios and technology, the sci-fi dine-in theater restaurant is reminiscent of the past. Booths designed like 1950s convertibles are placed in front of a large screen, similar to drive-in theaters popular several decades ago. To suit the theme, the restaurant shows old films on the big screen as the guests enjoy their meals. For me, it would be nice to watch a movie in the cinema and eat a full meal simultaneously, not just snacks. Wouldn't it be nice to have tables like these in the theaters? Still, there are downsides to this setup, which is probably why most cinemas today don't look like this. The restaurant is still primarily for eating and not really ideal for film viewing. The volume of the movies is often too low for patrons to hear over the noise of the chatter, the plates, and the utensils. However, I think the vibe of this restaurant is cool enough for people to give it a try. Number 7. Bar Inspired by Aliens If the sci-fi dine-in theater restaurant wasn't sci-fi enough for you, I think this next one will not disappoint. Welcome to the Giger Bar in Chur, Switzerland. The entrance already looks like it will lead you into an alien spacecraft, with its skull handles, metallic gray paint, and sci-fi themed font. The intricate carvings and their attention to detail are very impressive. Inside, you'll immediately see the cool chairs with bony and spiny features. Sitting on one really makes you feel like you're an alien crew on this spaceship. At the very center of the bar is an odd-looking sculpture of an alien. The oval mirrors look like the windows of the spacecraft and the carvings on the floor just add to the overall surrealness of the place. The famous Giger Bar, including its interior decor and furniture, is designed by the renowned H.R. Giger. He's the visual artist who came up with the fearsome appearance of the alien, or xenomorph. He brought this frightening and powerful creature to life and contributed significantly to the franchise's success. He decided to share his art in his hometown, sure, by establishing this famous Giger Bar. Number 6. Dinner at a Secret Location The Ferrara street dinner experience in Italy combines mystery, adventure, and good food. Once a year, the beautiful town of Ferrara turns into an open-air pop-up restaurant. The event has a simple dress code, any all-white outfit, but the location is a mystery, which is slowly revealed through a series of cryptic text messages. Each course is served at a different location within the town of Ferrara. Text messages are sent to the attendees occasionally to provide clues on where the following location is. Some areas are buffet style, some are appetizers and wine. You never know what it will be like until you arrive. The little text message puzzles make the experience a delight that adds to the ambience. It's not that difficult to solve them either, especially since one can just follow the crowd toward the next destination. So if you've had a bit of wine, you'll be alright. The journey allows attendees to enjoy the night outside and appreciate the beauty of the picturesque town. It's also a way to burn some calories, especially since each serving can be quite filling. Being surrounded by a diverse group of people, all wearing white and headed towards the same location in search of good food, can be a memorable and meaningful experience. It's something that both locals and tourists can enjoy to better connect with the places, culture, and people in town. Number 5. Cafe for Reptiles Some people fear reptiles because of their hard, scaly outer skin. On the other hand, others consider them pets due to their unique characteristics and interesting behavior. Reptiles are low-maintenance animals that can provide companionship and stimulation to their owners. Yap Min Yang loves reptiles so much that he dedicated an entire cafe to them. Fangs by Decori in Malaysia is the first reptile cafe in the world. Here, guests dine with leopard geckos, corn snakes, and bearded dragons. The reptiles are displayed in glass tanks, but they can also be placed on the dining tables and petted. Will you be brave enough to let this snake crawl all over you? Aside from serving the best-tasting desserts, 
The cafe also aims to raise awareness for snakes, lizards, and other reptiles since these pets don't always get much attention compared to furry creatures. He wants people to know that not all reptiles are dangerous or scary and that they make excellent pets too. Number 4. Strange Hospital-Themed Restaurant in Latvia When a restaurant uses a hospital as its theme, you know things are going to get weird. Hospitalis used to be a bizarre medical-themed restaurant in Latvia. Its different sections were designed to look like an operating theater, a dentist clinic, or a gynecologist exam room. The tables there were far from ordinary, as they were actually operating tables lighted by a surgical lamp. Food was served on stainless steel dishes, and drinks were placed in flasks, test tubes, beakers, or IV drips. Guests were provided with surgical equipment instead of spoons, forks, and knives. Chefs dressed up as doctors, waitresses dressed up as nurses, and bartenders wore lab coats. The walls were adorned with x-rays and anatomy diagrams, and TV screens played clips of medical procedures from various movies. They really tried to make everything related to hospitals or labs as much as possible. Hospitalis also served unique dishes, like food arranged to look like fingers, noses, and tongues. Things got even weirder, too. Customers could actually request staff to tie them up in a straitjacket and ask nurses to spoon-feed them. That is, after signing an agreement, of course. This restaurant was definitely an extreme level of weird. Even though it was super popular, the restaurant didn't pass hygiene standards and was shut down permanently. Number 3. Fondue Place Serves Wine in Baby Bottles Refuge de Fondue is a small fondue place found in Montmartre. The restaurant has been using its fondue recipe since 1966, but the site is actually more famous for its wine than for its cheese. This is because their wine is served in baby bottles. Perhaps baby bottles fit in the theme of dairy, but others believe the restaurant decided to do this to avoid the city tax on wine glasses. Another reason could be to prevent spillage when guests move in or out of their seats. Refuge de Fondue can get really cramped during peak hours, and because of its small space, the restaurant maximizes it by having two long rows of tables with no space in between. This means patrons who are seated against the wall need to climb over the table in order to get out of there. The restaurant's mood is pretty casual, as evidenced by the need to jump over tables and the graffiti-covered walls. It's not unusual for customers to randomly chat with strangers seated beside them. It's a great way to meet new people in experiencing drinking wine from a baby bottle. Number 2. Flooded Cafe That Looks Like a Fish Pond Enjoy a cup of coffee while fishes are swimming around your feet. That's an experience guaranteed at Amex Coffee, a unique flooded cafe in Vietnam's Ho Chi Minh City. Amex Coffee was the talk of the town when it was still in operation because of its pond within the cafe. For hygiene purposes, customers needed to take off their shoes and sanitize their feet before entering the pool of water. Almost the entire place was flooded and filled with fish, even the second floor. Customers walked among the fish while fetching their orders and felt the creatures tickling their feet as they enjoyed their drinks or dessert. This place had hundreds of fish of different colors and sizes. Customers could touch or catch the fish if they were fast enough to do so. Although guests were not allowed to chase fish, some children just couldn't help themselves because of how cute they were. In order to keep the pond clean and clear all the time, the cafe was equipped with a triple filtration system. Unfortunately for the owner and some avid tourists, Amex Coffee closed down due to criticisms and concerns regarding the welfare of the fish. Number 1. Dining in a Haunted Prison One of the scariest restaurants in Japan is a themed izakaya called the Lockup. Aside from looking like a prison, it's also designed like a haunted house. The fright begins even before customers reach the waiting area. The dimly lit corridor has a line of prison doors, and the flashing lights surprise patrons by revealing the creepy figures kept behind bars. This place is certainly not for the faint of heart. If you're able to survive this horrific spectacle, you'll reach the end of the corridor and be greeted by someone in a police uniform. Adding to the thrill of the experience, one person from each group of customers can get handcuffed. Food and drinks are also prison or horror themed, so don't be surprised if your orders come with a creepy eyeball or needle decoration. As if all of these things are not freaky enough, there are also random periods when lights in the restaurant start flickering and loud sirens go off. 
This is when escaped prisoners, monsters, and zombies start running around all over the place. Even going to the toilets is unsafe, as something frightening might happen while you're in there. The rising popularity of the most unusual restaurants shows that people are attracted to weird and novel experiences. It doesn't matter if the restaurant is scary or out of this world. It seems that the stranger it is, the more popular it becomes. Do you think it's worth visiting restaurants just for the unique experience they can provide? Which restaurant have you added to your bucket list? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.